appreciate y'all tuning in, showing love. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page, leave that five star review. Y'all know what to do. I don't, I don't do. Even know what to say to that. Uh, to say that. Let's keep it moving along. Bears did make a quick signing today. Oh, baby. Uh, that is an interesting signing. DeAndre Carter uh, spent some time with Philly, with Houston, spent some time with the Bears in 2020. I didn't notice. Didn't know that uh, a journeyman guy uh, who basically is coming in for the punt return and or kick return job. Now, probably more punt return, I would think, than kick return. But on kick return, he has been a better player. Uh, 2022, he spent some time with the Chargers. 538 punt return yards. Um, oh, hold on. No, that's actually rushing and receiving. Let me uh, get that right there. Uh, 232 punt return yards. Tough. Uh, and then uh, 262 <laughs> kick return yards. Boys. Is Valus on the way out the door? You're dang he's right. Not. You're he, dang right. <laughs> <laughs> I am so thankful. Now, Whatever two years ago, <laughs> two years ago in Washington, he did have 904 kick return yards. That was his biggest opportunity over the last three years, where he was con- he was definitely the guy. Yeah. So he can return the football. Uh, he's only had one kick return touchdown his entire career. He had more than Valus. He's got one more than Valus. There you go. <laughs> That's all that matters. There you go. How many yards does he have on a return more than Valus? Well, he's a good question. Let me let me let me look. I mean, he's a six year pro. He's right. right. You're right. Pro. I mean, so we can gonna... break it down year over year. I guess. I guess what we're trying to get at is, uh, Valus Jones is just like Mo. He's. Well, say it with me. I don't know if he's clapped. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's definitely I'm gonna cheeks, be honest with and you. And he's about to get clapped. Go ahead, send him out. Get him off this roster, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's that's that's, that's uh, it. Marcus B. Yes, Come we on. did mention Trevor Lawrence at the beginning of the show. Uh, but people are saying about the uh, yeah, Trevor yeah. Lawrence, two hundred million guaranteed, one hundred forty-two at the signing. Her. Thanks, yeah. Bucky. But yeah, we. Hey, talked yo, about guess what? We gonna yeah. get back to that because we, uh, of course, it ties back into you know what. Well, it, it ties into here. the the final conversation that we're gonna have talking about. You know the uh, the the Atlanta the Atlanta fine. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> but what what I, I I'm gonna be real with you. It's a body. It's a body to me. Yeah, it's just definitely he's another guy because teams. when you it, for those of you who haven't seen how the kick return works, it's usually um, two guys are gonna be back there. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna have one on one side, one on the other. It's another guy to be out on the field with you. Um, I don't know if he's going to get – it depends on if the ball gets kicked to him or not, but you want to have two weapons that can both go out there and run. Uh, DeAndre Carter – I mean, listen, the one thing about Bayless, if this new rule does change anything for him, it got to be. Um, we know Bayless has the size and the weight to go out there and run mugs over if he gets one uh, shot. DeAndre Carter, he's 5'8", 190 pounds. Stout guy. You know what yeah. I mean? They can go out there and get after. He it, definitely so. here for Valus because Valus ain't gonna be on the field no other time. I, I like, I like I, his versatility. Well, he's not gonna be on the field no other time either. He's not a wide receiver. I'm just saying, well, Valus, I mean, well, Valus a, was. A, was a, I mean, he got 538 receiving yards in 22. I mean, I, I, I just like his versatility. Yeah, oh, Carter, you can yeah. use him out there in like a, a, a whatever package like we used to use to recoin. You know, back in the day. Uh, you know, he's he's a. Uh, Connecting back with his uh, position coach and Chris. Yeah, I guess I guess not bad on that either. Sixty five targets, forty six receptions. Like I guess if you if you get down to, but I'll say this: if we see DeAndre Carter catching passes, we definitely had a problem. Oh, somebody injured. You know what I mean? If we, somebody if we hurt. See, we see DeAndre Carter catching passes. We've gone through a few wide receivers. Like I'm not. Valus Jones should be above him on the receiver depth chart. Tyler no, he Scott should. is uh, injured. <laughs> yeah, Tyler Scott's injured. Uh, why yeah, should Valus be above ahead of him? Um. I don't even have a good reason. I mean, there you Valus, go. Talk to me, baby. I knew it was something. Why would Valus be in front of him? He would Just be. because he's uh, Paul's pick. Uh, he's Valus, got more than a body. He's got more than a body pack. Last year. That mug well, give Valus a problem, anything. especially he with Dante Pettis the ball, on the field. Though. I don't know you, if hey, that's that dude was Tim Hardaway last year. Not from the ball, but I would also like him to produce. No, see, this is my problem with mugs that like defend Valus. Because, yes, he didn't fumble the football last year. But that was his what job. Do? No, no, no. It's not, <laughs> he didn't even do his job. It's not, it's not even that. It's not even that. His job was a catch. <laughs> he just when you have job. the when you have the kind of player that you say, if you can get the ball in his hands, he's dangerous. He can't get the ball. That's a problem. <laughs> he he plays wide That's, receiver. I give you that. And we can't get the ball in his hands. I'm, he's a wide receiver that the ball don't go in his hands. You know what we call that? That's a DB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think 
look, I'm not trying to be on the record for defending. Him. I feel like you defended. I think you're, about you, to you're be. on the record, my boy. You're already you're about there. to be. You're right. Right. This is your third time defending Bayless. There you all go. I'm saying, a, no, what yeah. I'm in, what I'm he got those photos is, of you, don't he? Oh, wow. Oh. Wait a minute. Hey, where's the flag? <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Huh. Is, Holton heavy. It's more about I, all I'm Holt saying is there's it, it was an improvement with him. That's all. It's no different from the whole. I got you. <laughs> guys, I'm trying to make a point here. Can we be mature? <laughs> sorry, be sorry. Mature, guys. We're hey, trying to run a show. We're doing a serious show. All right, all right. All right. Bayless. Got to be serious. <laughs> black, hey, he blackmailing Joe now? <laughs> no, but I, I, all I'm saying is it's no different from the Justin Fields thing of seeing there is has been improvement. I'm not saying he's great, but you're you're right. When he does get the ball in his hands, is he able to go go-go gadget and make extra yards and get a lot of yak or something like that? However, we're also having an issue with the type of scheme that we ran last year. Nothing, nothing looked great anyways. I think here's what throws me off. And like the video, if you agree, though, um, or disagree, just like the video. Um, here, here's what throws me off about Valus right now, though, and, and why DeAndre Carter. I guess he could be coming in as a guy who could, if Valus doesn't work out in this year, you can rely on somebody who's a, a confident veteran back there as well. Yeah. To me, with Valus Jones, where are you finding time to put him in? And on top of that, what have you seen from him that is we got to get the ball in this guy's hands? Like what? Like I, be real with me. Be real with me. And, and I know, Joe, but anybody in the chat that that is they want Bayless here. They think that he's a weapon because there are people out here like this. that are like if you get the ball in his hands, he's dominant. Yeah. Tell me a Bayless Jones play. Those are those uh those are the same people who believe Tyson Bajan. No, like the, like like te, oh, Tyson Bajan is actually oh. nice. I, I mess with Bajan, but well, tell me a Bayless Jones play. He's been in the NFL two years. Tell me the play that sold you on him being they that you having some kind of confidence in it. It doesn't exist. Man. It doesn't exist because there's plays for Jeff. That's why it's different from Justin. There's <clears throat> plays for Justin Fields where I'm like, you give him the weapons, he could do that on a consistent basis. But th- I don't I don't have a Bayless play. I don't have a Bayless run back. It's all, all it is. I don't have a bit like listen, and it's not. I think it's the I'm burst. Really it's, the, right. it's, it's the it's the hope and prayer of it. that pose was right when he drafted him. That his draft, uh, his what I'm trying to remember. This man went to his highlights. It's only two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's mostly kickoffs. Two minutes could be a no, long he time. Didn't, he didn't. It's, it's, he it's the, it's the, the jet whole. sweep play. Everybody no. always references the jet sweep play. How many yards that jet sweep play get? No, he ran for a touchdown his rookie year. It was an end around. So he was. They, he it's not had memorable is the point. Right, again, that, I'm just again, saying. There's things, again. How many yards did that play get? In the that was about forty yards. That ju- that, that was a forty-yard run. run. Yeah, he broke it and went down the sideline. And then there's a return right here. He's ret- in the regular season. Or yeah, Seattle. his rookie year against Seattle. The, he ran it. No, no, he went out of bounds. Now he went. Yep, out, no, but he went far enough. Yeah, he went like does he have? Yards. Does he have more mistakes that we remember? So, than so we plays. remember the mistakes. I remember against, the big his, one where here's the thing. We, do we have? Does he, he have more it. big mistakes than he has memorable hey, plays? Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I love that. I love that though. Look, let, let, let's let's it. listen to the play that we're saying though. The jet sweep. Great. He ran it. How many times a game is a jet sweep going to work? Once. He's had good returns. He had a couple, sixty. What is it? He ran to the right. forty against Detroit. No, he's not, he's done things where it's like no. That's Joe. That's just, you're looking at the plays right now. I I'm said, saying, but you're saying he did nothing to that changed your mind because I w- I would see these these little highlights here and there. The, something stuck in my head said, let me. He can't do do all jokes all jokes aside, that. though. He, seriously, that's all I'm saying. It, Are, is his mistakes more memorable than his big plays? One hundred percent. Well, me, yes. anytime you fumble a kickoff, you're gonna remember that. No, I that's mean, a huge uh, one. One fumble of a kickoff is is no. Nah, I mean, Devin fumbled kickoffs. Devin, I don't remember. Him. There's some good people who fumble. Devin has fumbled kickoffs, but I don't like. But I don't remember when he losing did losing a fumble, and he didn't lose that many. No, his fumbles were like the the difference with Valus is his fumbles clearly lost you the game. Right. All I'm saying is he stopped fumbling last year because we noticed <laughs> that he fumbled a lot. So I could see if. If he had worked on that, he does have speed. So his only so improvement the, is because, he finally started. Hey, hold on, hold on. James Johnson said the jet all he good for. He said jet sweep twice. Like, I'm going to be real with you. No, like, I'm, I'm here for you with the jet sweep, but that's not enough. Like, you got to be. I didn't say that. Now, I said now. I mentioned that he did a jet sweep. Then he did a bunch of returns. What I'm getting at is that um, once we all said they changed the kickoff rules, what did everybody's first reaction was? I said, oh, I said, Bayless Jones could be back. That's all we're saying. That's it. 
in the return game. <laughs> Steve, that's, oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Devin did fumble a, a, a kickoff and then scored a touchdown off of it. <laughs> yeah. I do remember that one. So yeah, that's all we're zone. that's all I'm saying yeah. is I'd like to see what he could do in the return game. I'm not looking at him to be a surefire, you know, third or fourth receiver. Because and I saw that he stopped fumbling when they put him in the in the game. That's well, it. I, I like the fact that we have options. I'll put it like that. You have competition now where you're just not relying on him to be the guy. If these rule changes are going to be significant, then you got other people who have been there and done that as well. So I yeah. think what makes it interesting to me though is there's so many players on this team that could return the kickoff. Yeah. There's True. so many players on this Pettis. team that have returned Pettis. kickoffs. True. Tyreek Stevenson is returning kickoffs. Hey, well, no, that's his that. quarterback. Yeah, I mean, that's my corner, <laughs> that's my corner and my quarterback. You got he can play corner. Right. He can, can play quarterback. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, like Tyler, 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 Tyler Scott did. This Tyler too. Scott is now. Nah, I don't want to see Tyler Scott. I don't want to see him do it, but he does. No, he had a no. You know what? You know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind seeing Tyler Scott return kickoffs in this with the new kickoff rules. Because the only reason I didn't want to see Tyler Scott return kickoffs was because, brother, the the that dude gets flung. Johnny Knox. Oh, yeah. Getting That's the only like reason I didn't want to see him return Ooh. kickoff. Who's the fastest guy on the team? It's supposed to be probably. Wrong, probably wrong, wrong. He's a 4 I, two? He was four I feel two. like That's Tyler how, might be faster right. than him. They wrong? I feel like Tyler might be faster than Rome him. Is more well, like Rome's, four, three, four, Rome's combine speed didn't didn't. That's what I'm saying. He's got the he speed. It's like you'd like to see if 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 incompetent coaching is a is a problem on top of someone that's like under the pressure that he got to perform, he keeps fumbling the ball. You know, but I'm just saying I'd like to see him in the return game and see what he does. Now, if he's tears it up in muffs and whatever, done. Yeah, Vegas was a four three. If he's tearing up muffs, what? Four three one. <laughs> What'd you just say? I don't know what he said. What you said? If he's he tearing tears, up what? If he tears it up in muffs a punt, that's what he said. There you go. Oh, I don't think punt. that's what he said. That's what he tried. I don't to think say. that's what he I got said. You, fast. I got I you. I didn't hear that one. I got you. <laughs> we gotta keep it moving. That was nuts. We gotta keep it moving. I don't know what Tyler Scott was saying. Trying to. Gotta move on, yeah. And um, <laughs> the next topic on the Wednesday. Hey, no Bruce servants Moore, on this up. channel. Hey, listen, <laughs> those views are by expressed by Joe. Oh, all dude. his and his alone. Um, dude, that was great. Yeah, oh, let me. Wow. Can I? Hey, look, can I shift and sell you on DeAndre Carter? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I want to do. Uh, yeah, that's what I. That's that's what it is. Um, no, but I, I I like the fact that you brought in DeAndre Carter as a, as a second a second body to be back there. Wow. I don't. I ain't gonna lie to you. Dante Pettis ain't done a whole lot. He's he's just been he's okay. Like the Statesman's up return, bro. I don't I don't he, think no, he's, he's called a couple passes. He's probably not gonna make this team. He, no, you're right with this guy. No, now, like yeah, I'm saying right. that like OTAs and minicamp. Dante Pettis really is. He's like on the sideline well, a lot. Once you brought in Keenan and, and Rome, all those guys are expendable. I mean, Dante was like our number two receiver, right? Oh my God, with Equinemius and, and those yeah, and yeah, two catch. years ago, yeah. See, now yeah, he can't catch. No, I was done with him. Saint Brown, but he was a good blocker though. But I need you to. I need my receiver. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. But, but, but once ball. again, it was a good block. If your best talent as a receiver is blocking, let me put these hands on you. <laughs> That's a most, hey, most receivers don't want to get touched. <laughs> yeah, most right. receivers go through life and they're like, please, I never want to block you and I don't want to put my hands That's on luxury. you. That's called what again, Pat? Yeah, uh, getting active. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's keep this thing moving along, man. We've been trying to have this conversation for a little while. 